Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. Hope you're doing super fantastic wherever you're at. I was at the Dallas RV Super Sale. Had a great time down there. And I'd like to thank the folks at the Dallas RV Super Sale for inviting me and allowing me to check out all these different RVs. One of my favorites was this Keystone Cougar 2100 RK. It's under 27 feet and you can't complain about that. This is a smaller fiver and uh, its empty weight is about 6,800 pounds. Its height is 12 feet. Its length, again, exactly is 26 feet, three inches. So it can, uh, you know, fit into smaller spaces at smaller parks that want something under 30 feet. Its freshwater capacity is 54 gallons. Gray is a 60, and its black tank can handle 30 gallons. Again, I was at the Dallas RV Super Sale. I had a lot of fun looking at quite a few RVs. They had uh, many of the RVs, the Fivers, uh, and the travel trailers, and the small Bs and Cs uh, on sale, so you can get a good price. Here's a view from the front. It was being offered by the folks at Holiday World here in the Fort Worth area. They're all over the place in Texas that I know about. There's the pin box by the folks at Road Armor. It's a good size, good quality pin box. There's a spare tire up front and an area for a battery. I guess you can modify this. You can move things around. Again, everything's going to be a little bit smaller on this... Uh, Cougar 2100 RK. Here's a view from the other side with the slide. It has jealousy awning windows. Let's go check out the uh, pass-through storage. But first, there's the receptacles and lights. Or just lights. <laughs> there's where you put a propane bottle. And here's some of the specs. In case you have some good eyes, you can take a peek and go, hey, this is the manufacturing date. And here's some of the information regarding the tires. Here's the pass-through storage that I promised earlier. Again, there's the receptacles and some of the controls and the light. They have a nice little uh, linoleum inside. This is the utility area where you can uh, hook up their water. And when you need to winterize and dewinterize, you're pretty much set in your valves. That's for fresh water connection. Yes, I can read. This has uh, the cable for a uh, slide out. Let me back up and show you the view from this side. Right next to a passport. It has a window in the back, very nice. And that's a good uh, extension for that slide out, don't you think? There's an area for a bike rack and this stabilizer jacks. I just bought some new stabilizer jacks for my RV because somebody ran into it as it was parked in storage units. So now I have to get new stabilizer jacks, new uh, steps also. I bought some new steps. No rest for the wicked, huh? So this is another view. You enter from the side here towards the rear. Let's go inside. Three drawers right there. Again, at this price point, you can't <laughs> expect soft clothes. These are pretty rudimentary cabinets and you can't expect uh, solid surface countertops. These are just, uh, you know, laminated countertops. But you have good storage here. And for the price point, you can't complain. You can't complain. 
If I was in the market for a small fiber, I would consider this for sure. Again, this is the Keystone Cougar 2100 RK. A lot of RV dealerships are offering 25% off and some significantly more because they have quite a bit of inventory at this time of year. Of course, they'll tell you, hey, these things are rare and few between. <laughs> Storage up top here, two layers uh, where you can put your dishes, your and Simple, absolutely rudimentary uh, hardware. The hinges again are rather basic there's your microwave oven just a black microwave oven no, no, no stainless steel here and you get a black uh, oven here very nice I like it quite a bit enough for a pizza some cookies some wings let me open this up this looks like cast iron grates but they're just uh, you know, it's hollow under there. And of course, uh, they have plenty of room for your food to go inside there between the <laughs> burner. No sealed burners. You get three of them though. Uh, you get three unsealed burners. Very nice. You have lights and vents up there in the air conditioner. Uh, two octopuses there to hang your clothes. And in the slide out, you have uh, some nice chairs. These are your basic accordion style pleated shades. These are the bottom tier, absolute bottom tier of shades on the market. These are budget, super budget paper, you know, essentially uh, shades. Good refrigerator here. I like it. It's the one, like the one I have in my Rockwood Mini Light. It's a Furion model, but I have a GE model. They're very similar. They're all, you know, Chinese made. They're all very similar, these DC fridges. Some are more efficient than others in case you want to do some boondocking. I mean, some folks buy and upgrade the refrigerator. There's a good sized guy. He's looking for something that, for the, for the national parks. There's somebody peeking at me over there. Storage above here and the stereo system and the TV, and more storage to the left. Very nice. Again, you can leave your kind and friendly comments and tell me your experiences in case you own one of these. And this nice little booth dinette. Plenty of room for uh, two large people or four smaller people. Storage right there, your larder as my wife would say. Food pantry storage. And there's that air conditioner again. There's a fuse box. And let's go upstairs. Three steps and you're upstairs. And uh, right there's the restroom. A very nice little handy restroom with a plastic sink. Looks like plastic, might be fiberglass, who knows. A question for your RV dealership and controls for the light, receptacles and for the fans, etc. What do you think of this unit? There's a the plumbing right down there. And there's the uh, plywood boxed metal glides. Looks like solid wood uh, door fronts. Very nice. Ceramic foot flush toilet. That's a positive, huh? That's, a, that's an upgrade. They didn't cheap out on that. And an uh, area to hang your towel and a smallish fan that you can replace with a Max Air or a fantastic fan, it's all up to you. Those usually typically cost 150 bucks, 200 bucks, and you can install it with yourself because it only takes four screws. It's pretty wobbly, uh, definitely uh, entry level sort of stuff for the shower surround. But if you're careful, these things will last forever. I'm 5'10", plenty of room, get a book. Good three inches, maybe four. Quite a bit of room. What do you think? Yeah, that's my uh, mug right there. I apologize. Easy step down. You can hold on to the side in case you it's a little wet or slippery. You don't want to bust a hip down there. Now we're quickly, very quickly, 
into the bedroom. I'm checking out the materials. Got some storage down there, storage up there, receptacles there. Yeah, I didn't check for under bed storage because I was a bit of a slacker. There's a one, two, three drawers and a closet. And then you have receptacles and an area for a TV in case you want to watch TV while in bed. Who doesn't want to watch TV while they're in bed? Let me open up the closet. There it is, has a little rod for you. You're set. You can put all your outfits in there, your hiking outfits, your swimming clothes, etc., etc. Let me show you a drawer. This one's a pretty deep one, I like it. What do you think of these drawers? Two, three, I count, I counted three. There's a window right there, an emergency exit. You have storage there, storage there, and storage up there, and receptacles, USB, and alternating current. Very nice. And more storage up there. You can put maybe a blanket. And this is your, what I call a shirt closet or a jacket closet, another closet. And up here you can put some extra blankets, pillows, or whatever you want, or under the bed. Uh, I didn't check to see if there's space under the bed. Uh, that's something for you to do. And there's the uh, vent. I would recommend two air conditioners, even for a 27-foot unit, uh, they're, you know, because they're so sequestered. And uh, I would recommend that if at all possible. I wonder if they offer it. On the Keystone Cougar 2100 RK. Let's get out of here. And uh, what I found uh, very interesting is across the way, right there, well, here's some uh, the controls for the yawning slides. So right across the way to the right is a little bar. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. Ring the bell for future notifications. Muchas, muchas gracias. And check out my photographs on my RVTA-specific website, rvta.myportfolio.com. Uh, and if you have the time, and only if you have the time, check out my Facebook group and join. From Dallas, Texas, gracias. Adiós. Bye-bye.